When I came to the Fairbanks house to begin my Ph.D. dissertation work, they were interested in having uh, some construction done on the property. They wanted to expand their existing driveway. So it was my job to go into the area where they wanted to expand the driveway and to put in a number of uh, test excavation units to determine whether or not there was any historical material that would be impacted by the construction of the expanded driveway. We had located what we believed to be this outbuilding, uh, a dairy or a buttery or some sort of out kitchen because it was so close to the house. And it ended up with this building being much larger than we originally envisioned. It's roughly 28 by 32 feet uh, in size, so much, much larger than a, a dairy or a kitchen would be. And it was at that point, based on the size, that we determined that it must have been a barn. Uh, the Burnett's cocoane bottle caught us a little off guard at first because we figured there might have been some sort of misspelling, and what we really found was a, a bottle of medicinal cocaine, which was you know, a, sort of an everyday household item in the 19th century. But after doing a little research, it turns out that um, Mr. Burnett had actually made a product out of coconuts, so it didn't actually contain any cocaine at all, and it was a coconut hair oil uh, that would have been used to supposedly, uh, you know, make your hair a little bit, uh, give it a better shine, take out the damage and, and whatnot. So uh, it, in fact, was not any evidence of any sort of drug use, but in fact, uh, making your hair look good. Um, the scissors that we found, we found two pairs of scissors, um, both of which were fairly small in terms of both the blade length and the, the finger hole, leading us to believe that they were probably either women's scissors or um, for sewing purposes or possibly uh, children's scissors. This piece of uh, American stoneware, it's the handle off of uh, what would have been a large jug for pouring a, a liquid of some sort. And it's a nice piece for us because it has this sort of uh, what looks like just an orange spot on the top of the, the handle. But it, what it actually is is a wear mark from uh, the number of times that someone has grabbed this jug by the handle and actually poured its contents out. And it's a nice reminder to us because we're often very uh, sort of clinical or scientific about these sorts of things where we're just counting and, and looking at them in terms of mass production and, uh, and just numbers. So it's nice to see something like this where you can really say, all right, that was used by a person repeatedly.